Let's play War. We're back with a set from Brave. Let's see, and we have a bow and some arrows and a quiver. <laughs> now, we're going to be doing the arrows and the quiver here. And for my wonder subscribers, we're going to be going into the armory for that. If you're interested in getting this or possibly some of the other stuff I make, I uh, do give some of these away. So check out the link in the description to see how that is possible. <laughs> okay, so for this, we're going to be using an ancient and fable technique known as vinyl over foam. I don't, I just don't seem to see it as much anymore, but um, it is a good technique for uh, creating props and armor and such like this. Now, we could have made this out of vi like heavy leather, but um, that's expensive and I was working with what I had on hand as well. Um, <laughs> so, also leather is kind of more of a pain. Some of the things we're gonna do later on are more of a pain in the butt with leather. But uh, by all means, if you have leather, this can totally be substituted. Uh, but for those with not uh, so much money, <laughs> this is a little bit cheaper. This is the effect we're going to be using. Um, we're going to be coating the craft foam we've cut out earlier with a bit of weld wood contact cement. And we're going to be pressing that up against the leather to dry. Um, and uh, my textbooks will finally get a use as they will, the uh, vinyl is going to need a bit of pressure while it cures to make sure that it keeps contact with the craft foam. Um, I find that my differential equations or my calculus book tend to be the heaviest books I own and so serve the best for this purpose. Um, some of the uh, craft foam we're using is thicker, such as the pieces at the base, because they're going to have to bear the weight of any arrows or whatever we put inside of it, and I don't want something floppy. So those are cut out of a quarter-inch heavy craft foam uh, circles, and we'll be adding those in a minute. <laughs> All right, so um, just to be safe, I have a little bit extra material than I need, and... Because we want it to look nice and trim, we're going to cut off all the excess here. I'm going to go around the edge and cut away that. Uh, we're going to be hot gluing these pieces down. What I like to do is a very, very thin bead on the on the inside edge. I don't want my hot glue to be lumpy and uneven. So I do take the most care when I'm doing hot glues, hot gluing in this case, because the trimming and the edging does affect the quality and the appearance overall. Now, um, the corners I cut off just a little bit there once we've got uh, two of the edges down so that we have a nice clean trim. Uh, I tend to wait until I've done two of the edges instead of doing it at the very beginning to make sure that I don't have any exposed foam underneath. The, I, I run into that problem where if I cut the corner off, I end up stretching the pleather or the vinyl and it can uh, it can be exp uh, exposed. So we have a little bit more um, uh, uh, vinyl over pleather than we needed, and we're going to be um, well gluing that in place and is overlap. Additionally, because this is based off something that's actually sewn together, I'm going to reinforce that piece by stitching it up with a running stitch. As you can see, I've added the bottom panel to the quiver, and that is actually stitch on through the inside of um, the piece there. If it were like heavy, heavy leather, that would be a, more of a pain in the butt for me. I'd either have to punch holes or have to put a considerable amount of effort to achieve that effect. Um, but with this nice soft pleather, and craft foam, it's much easier work for me personally. Um, any place that needs uh, a little bit more uh, securing, I'm going to be going in with hot glue and filling in those. Uh, the trick here is again, hot glues can be a bit uneven, uh, just making sure that that's smooth. And the, with the, the, you see I use well wood here, that takes a second to cure, so between segments it might be like a half day um, while I let that paint, or sorry, that glue dry. <laughs> right. Ugh. But speaking of paint, I'm going to be painting up the inside because we use red and green craft foam. If you look down in there, that doesn't look great. If you want to add a bit of uh, pleather trim on the inside, that's fine too. Glue that down with a bit of weld wood. Um, but I'm uh, simply going to go in with some uh, craft paint and clean that up so it looks a little nicer. All right. 
Now on to the arrows! Uh, I happen to have a few feathers lying around and these arrows in the art are very, very obviously handmade. They're uh, like uh, tied on. Um, well, what we're going to do is we're going to be cutting uh, some of these feathers to fit. I think the scissors are a little clumsy uh, and I end up ruining like two or three of them. So if you have extra feathers, it's probably a good plan. But I end up reverting to my hot knife. Um, it's not plugged in, so right now it's basically an uh, X-Acto knife. So a hobby knife or craft knife is the same, like razor sharp edge. Same scenario. Um, to get a much cleaner f cut, I end up uh, cutting a bit more of the feathers away when I messed them up. And we are going to be putting down a thin line of hot glue. I don't want it showing up uh, in pictures, so I'm being very careful about how much glue I put these on. But they're basically hot glued into place. Um, and then we're going to wrap some uh, of that same leather twine uh, around it to match and fit the theme. The tips of the arrowheads are warbler. <laughs> they're very simply, they're warbler. And they're extra scraps that I fitted on into place. Um, and next time we're going to be making the bow that's going to be in the armory. Check it out. Hope you guys enjoy. Good times to all. Hurrah! Hey, if you like this video, check out FinalCosmicCore.com for the second part. See you there!